This is a video on a hypothesis test for a proportion. The question states, 10 years ago, 58% of the fish in Eagle Lake were native. The Forest Service performed a study to see if that proportion has changed. Of the 250 fish that were trapped, 170 were native. Use alpha equals 0.05. So let's start by writing down the null hypothesis. Since we want to see if the proportion of the fish has changed from 0.58, then H0 is that the population proportion is equal to 0.58. And because we want to see if it has changed, that means gone up or down. H1 is that the population proportion P is not equal to 0.58. So now let's write down our cast of characters. We have that there were 170 native fish found. That's X equals 170. Out of the 250 fish that were trapped, that's a sample size N equals 250. Now let's find out if we can use the normal distribution for this hypothesis test. To do that, we got to calculate NP and NQ. NP is equal to 250, that's N, times P, which is 0.58, and that's certainly bigger than 5. NQ is 250, times Q, which is 1 minus 0.58, or 0.42, and that's also much bigger than 5. So we can use the normal distribution for this hypothesis test. So now let's do that using the calculator. So here's the calculator, and in order to perform a hypothesis test, I go to Stat, and then Tests, and since we have a proportion that we're studying, and it's a single proportion, we're going to go to one prop Z test. That's number five. So if I hit five, that sends me to the one prop Z test. P naught, that comes from the null hypothesis. P equals 0.58. So 0.58. And then I go down to x, which was 170. So 170. And then I go down to n, which is 250. So 250. And then I go down. I want p not equal to 0.58. So I click on the not equal to p not. Hit enter, and then go down, and I hit enter for calculate. So I get a Z, which is about equal to 3.20, and a P value, which is about equal to 0 0.0014. I round to two significant digits here. And notice that P hat is 0.68. So now let's go back to the PowerPoint. So we had Z is about 3.20, our P value was about 0 0.0014, and P hat was equal to 0.68. On a picture, what we can look at is 3.20, that was the Z value. This is a two-tail test, so I shade in both tails. And since we have alpha is 0.05, the Z value that corresponds to 0.05 for two tailed, remember from confidence intervals, that was negative 1.96 and 1.96. Notice that our Z value is in the rejection region, the shaded in region, and not in the failed to reject region. So we can see from the picture that we are going to reject the null hypothesis. We can also do this with P values. And notice that P is 0 0.0014, which is less than alpha, which is 0 0.05. So that means that there is about a 
one-tenth of a percent chance that had the population of native fish still been at 58%, then we would get a proportion that is so far from 58% as what we got, which was 68%. And that is such a small percent chance, about one-tenth of one percent chance, that we reject the null hypothesis. So we're ready to state our conclusion. We can conclude that we reject H0 and accept H1 so that there is statistically significant evidence to show the proportion of native fish in Eagle Lake has changed since 10 years ago. And I'm done with the problem.